Okay, so on to number three. This one looks identical to number two. It's the HD model. Uh, it's also pretty filthy, but let's uh, let's have another look at this one. So from the intro, it had loose, uh, dirty cart slot and wasn't playing games consistently. So let's I've taken the screws out. Let's let's take a look. Pop the lid for the first time. Let's have a look what we've got here. The LED. So yeah, we're going to take the LED out. From this end, bend these these pins up, the wires, and the connector just slides straight off. So that's how you do that. Um, I just disconnect that so I can take it out the back and wash this. So luckily that slide is in good condition on this one. So that's that's a bonus. Uh, not too bad. Like top case. Um, this uh, power connector. Yeah, okay. That was sitting really crooked. So. Won't hurt to reflow those points. Um, this volume slider is really nice. Turn it off. Okay, so I'll, I'll take the shield off and we'll look at the pins here. So I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so I've pulled those screws out, got this open. Now this one's got dirty cart slot, so there's a big bit of hair in there to start with. Yeah, who knows what life this one's had. Um, Let's try the basics first, which is just going to be bending the pins and seeing what sort of difference that makes. What I like to do, I think you can see this, is put a little hook tool here. So what I like to do, that one's actually sitting out of alignment a little bit. I'll fix that in a second. Um, I just put a bit of pressure on the, on the pin and just put a slight tweak on it. If you can see this, but I'm just tensioning these pins by kind of hooking in up here at the top and just very carefully with a bit of pressure in the right direction, just forcing them down. Uh, I like to use this little hook tool, it's really handy. Uh, I think I picked up a pack of these, like maybe a four piece pack with slightly different shapes on them for maybe two dollars at some junk store, like you know, one of those um, bargain stores. So it works really well for things like this. Just tweak these pins a little bit. Right, that's all done. Let's turn that back around. And in, it straightens them all out again, but adds a lot of pressure. So yeah, so they're all, all straightened out again. Um, and we'll also give it a clean. So let's run some, let's run some isopropyl through it in a second. Um, and we'll see what difference it makes. Okay, so just spraying some isopropyl on the cartridge and the slot, and we just put it in and take it back out again. So it's quite tight now after I've retensioned those pins, and like even the tension this way is it's basically rock solid. So. That's really tight. So, yeah, the pins, they're still in really good condition. Um, you know, after putting a bit of pressure and bending them a little bit, they do sit out of alignment a little bit, but they're curved quite sharply now, so they put a lot more pressure on the cartridge pins itself. So it's, it tends to work. Um, even just giving them a good clean helps with that alcohol. So let's, uh, let's test this out then. We'll plug in the old composite video. Uh, let's give it some power. Let's plug in the cartridge one more time and fire it up. Uh, I might put a controller in as well. Just play and make sure the controller port works. So let's have a look at this. Okay, and power it up. We won't have an LED, we've disconnected it. Okay, so we're still good, still works. Okay, still got some audio. I'm just gonna push start on the controller. Button 
directions work. Both, all the directions work, so I think the controller is all fine, which means you know the pins here are all fine, everything's fine there. I'll also test out controller 2 a bit later. But let's see what happens now. So you can hear it running. We've cleaned in tension the cartridge slot, and we'll just test it a bit by giving it a wiggle. Yeah. Yep, so all still good. Okay, so that's, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm being really brutal with it now and it's still working, so. Right, so that was an easy one. Um, it's just a simple cartridge slot, so let's pull that back out. It is quite tight actually, so that's working. Um, and this one needs a, a, what, like a clean up, so I'll do that off camera. Right, so that one's all put back together. Um, I've given it a bit of a coating of a plastic cleaner. Uh, it's in pretty good condition, really, but you know, over here there's a few marks on the plastic. Uh, up here, I can't really do much about those. They're you know, they're quite deep into the plastic, so you know, it is what it is. These things are they're old, so um, they're gonna have a few battle scars. So that's fine. I'll I'll just sell it on. It's all working, and you know, I'm sure people don't really care what it looks like. 